gunmen who pounced upon a man as he sat in his car were surprised when the would-be victim turned out to be an off-duty policeman who repelled their attack and forced them to flee, leaving their weapon and a motor car behind. According to reports from the St. Anne's Bay Police, the incident unfolded at about 12.40 a.m. at the intersection of the Landovery Main Road and the Mines Main Road in the parish. The gunman reportedly approached the cop, pointed a light in his face, and demanded that he exit his car at gunpoint. In response, the cop complied, but in a dramatic turn of events, and what was like a scene from a movie, he then surprised the gunman when he challenged them. In addition to their weapon, a Taurus 9mm pistol with eight rounds of ammunition, the hoodlums also left behind, a gray Toyota Altus motor car. Meanwhile, the St. Anne's Bay Police has launched a probe into the incident. In a move that is as symbolic as it is progressive, the Jamaica Constabulary Force has announced a critical step in its ongoing transformation, the elimination of gender-specific references within its ranks. The decree, as per the latest force orders, ushers in a new era of gender-neutral terminology reflecting a modernized approach to equality within the force. Commissioner of Police, Dr. Kevin Blake's directive, a significant stride on the transformational journey of the JCF, resonates beyond administrative changes. It represents a shift in cultural dynamics, recognizing the indistinguishable valor and capability of all officers regardless of gender. This decision arrives at a historic moment as the JCF commemorates 75 years since women first donned the police uniform, a poignant reminder of the enduring struggle for gender parity in law enforcement. The abolishment of titles like woman constable in favor of simply constable is more than a terminological update. It is an acknowledgement of the uniform service and sacrifice of JCF members. This policy not only honors the contributions of women in the force, but also underlines an environment of inclusivity where the focus is firmly on the professional and not the personal. As the JCF celebrates this 75th anniversary, it honors the trailblazing women who have served with distinction, laying the groundwork for a more inclusive future. The policy aligns the force with global best practices in law enforcement where effectiveness is measured not by gender, but by competence and integrity. This historic shift in the JCF mirroring societal progress towards gender neutrality is a testament to the force's commitment to evolution and equality. It's a clear message to society at large that roles and responsibilities in security and service are not gendered pursuits, but human ones. As the JCF forges ahead, this policy change will undoubtedly serve as a beacon for other institutions, both within Jamaica and internationally, to follow suit in recognizing and respecting the service of all individuals in a manner that transcends gender. An unidentified man was fatally shot by the police during an operation at a party in Enfield, St. Mary, on Friday morning. Law enforcers also seized an illegal firearm with several rounds of ammunition following the incident. Preliminary reports are that sometime after 1 a.m., residents allegedly alerted the police about armed men who were observed at a party at an entertainment venue in the community known as Riverside Lawn. On the arrival of the police, a man was seen at the event, acting in a suspicious manner. Further reports are that the man attempted to pull a firearm but was shot by the police. The other patrons were not harmed during the incident. The wounded man was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The Independent Commission of Investigations was notified of the incident and has since launched a probe. Indicom reported on Friday that a series of operations carried out by the police has resulted in the death of four persons in four separate incidents between March 26 and 28. At the time, 
Those incidents moved the number of fatal shootings for the month of March to 12 and 34 shootings for the year. One man is now in police custody in connection with a vehicular collision on Windward Road, Kingston 2, on Thursday, March 28, which resulted in the death of a pedestrian. The deceased has been identified as Terence Redink of Noswad Road, Kingston 2. Reports are that about 9.30 p.m., a motor vehicle that was traveling along Windward Road hit Redink as he was crossing the street. Law Oh, <laughs> 